Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. As you can see on the board, we have the Vogel approximation method. And this is our table. And well, let's call this our initial tableau. Tableau, that's um, for French. Initial tableau. So that what we now do is that from these costs we have, we are going to find the least costs for the rows and for the columns. In this case, the least cost here for this first row is three. The least of these three is three, and the next one is five. So we'll find the difference. Let's put here the difference. So that the difference will be five minus three will give us two. For here, the least cost is four, and the next, next least cost is eight. So the difference here, the least cost is seven, and the next least cost is eight. So this becomes 8 minus 7 gives us 1. We've done this for the rows. Let's come and do this for the column. For in this column, the least cost is 5, and the next least cost is 8. So this becomes 8 minus 5. That gives us 3. Now for this column, the least cost is 7, and the next least cost is 9. So what we now do, we have 9 minus 7, gives us 2. For this column, the least cost is 3, the next least cost is 4. So 4 minus 3 will give us 1. So this is what I was explaining we do for the rows and for the graph difference here. Looking at all the differences, which one is the highest of the differences? Which one? Can I identify the one that is the highest? 4. 4 is the highest. So this is our focal row in this case. Now we identify, when we identify this uh, for the highest difference, what we now do is that the cell with the least cost is what we are going to pour in, I mean, put in volume into. In this case, we have 400 here from center three demand and 500 from 500 has been supplied from um, factory B. So what we'll do, we'll put in 400 here. And this one is taken away, zero. And we're left with 100. Remember this is, this is 100, we're left with 100. So what we'll now do is that since center three has been fully um, taken care of, we will not create a table two. A table two here. And the table two will not have these, um, will not have this column. So that what we will not have, we'll have one and two. We'll have A, B, and C. Can you follow? Okay. we we'll have A, B, and C. From here we have one and two we will not have three again so what we are going to have i'll quickly draw this so that please, i want you to follow closely please zoom closely please this is five and this is nine i'm picking from here we have eight then we have ten then we have nine and then we have seven. Okay, so we have seven. And the demand, I mean the demand are 300, 800. Okay, then we have our supply as um, 
100, 100, this is 100 here, and then we have 900. If you, if you realize, if you add this to, if you add this three, you are going to have 1,100. And here, 300 plus 800 will give us 1,100. So we, we, this is the new table. What we now do is to do our difference again. So the difference, five and nine, the difference is nine minus five, this gives us four. The difference here is 10 minus eight gives us two. The difference here is nine minus seven gives us two. All right, the difference here, we have five and eight, that's five is the least, then eight is the next. The difference is uh, three, as we did earlier. And then here, as we did earlier, this will not change. So nine and seven is going to be two, as we did earlier. Please follow. This one and this one will give us the same. So based on what we've done, which is the highest difference? Which is the highest difference? Four is the highest difference here. So this becomes our focal uh, row again. So we now identify the least cost, which is five here. And then we are portion what can go in there. But what we have done, we see that 100 can come in here. 100 we dealt with here, becomes zero. And here will become 200. 200. So since we have, since we have exhausted since we have exhausted this um, row for, for 100, we are going to elevate it and create a new table for this cell. Uh, let's come up here and follow me. Alright, so we're going to have table, table 3, table 3 here. So table 3 will not have row A again, will not have the supply from row A since it has been dealt with. So what we are going to have, we are going to have 1 and 2. We have B and C. Okay, so we have. Okay, so that's all we're going to have is um, 8 and 10. Just we are following. Then we have, please show this and show this. So we have 9 and then we have 7. Remember, what we are left with here is 200. We are left with 200 at the end of the, that table 2. And we are still left with 800 here. So here we are left with uh, 100 and uh, 900. Okay. So what we do, we do the same process of finding the difference. So let's do difference here. Yeah? Difference will be 10 minus 8, 10 minus 8 will give us 2, 9 minus 9 minus 7 will give us 2. Okay, what we have here is 9 minus 8 will give us 1, and then we have 10 minus 7 will give us 3. So which one is having the highest, the highest difference? The highest difference here is 3. This is three, this is two, and two, and this is one. So from this column, we are going to now put in the volume into the column, into the cell that has the least cost. And which cell is that? Seven. That's I mean this cell here. This between these two, seven is small, smaller. So we are going to have, have we are going to put in eight hundred here to exhaust this this column. This becomes zero, and this becomes what? We're left with 100. Since this column has been satisfied, we fully satisfied this column, we're going to eliminate it from the table, and we're going to create a new table four. A new table four. And a new table four will not have this column two. What we're going to now have 
now going to have we're going to have column one and then we have B and C. This is what we're going to have. Okay, so that here we have eight and here we have nine. We already have a balance of hundred here and a balance of hundred here and we have two hundred waiting for us here. In this case, we don't need to do much difference because there's only one thing. So what we just do to fill up, these eight eights will come in here to become 100 and another 100 will come in here. I mean, 100 will come in here to fill this and 100 will come in. So we fully exhausted all the demand and the supply. We fully exhausted all the demand and the supply. So what we now do is to now calculate the transport costs or the based the basic feasible solution. And to do this, we will go through all the tables to pick where we have apportioned values from. Please follow me from the initial table. From the initial table, we see that B supply to three. This is what we got the initial one. B to three. So that will be B to three. What did we get? We got um, we got four hundred times four. Okay. Now from the table two, what did we do? We did this. Is what we got. So that's A to one supply A to demand 1. So this becomes A to 1. This will now be 100 times 5. Okay? From table 3, we'll come here and pick what we did. We did C to 2. See it? C to 2. This will be C to 2. This becomes 800 times 7. Okay? Then from table 4, we have the other two. We have B to 1. B to 1, that gives us uh, 100 times 8. And then C to 1, that gives us 100 times 9. Alright, so this is a basic feasible solution. Let's now find the answer. 400 times 4 will give us 1,600. 500 times 5, 5, 5, that's 500. 800 times 7, that gives us 5,600. 5,600. And um, 800 plus um, 100 times 8, that gives us 800. And this becomes 900. Okay, let's now, let's now find the answer to this. This will give us zero. This will give us zero. Six plus five, that's eleven. Eleven plus seven, seventeen. Seventeen plus eight, twenty-five. Twenty-five plus nine, that's thirty-four. That's three. Carry three. So we have three plus one, that's four. Four plus uh, four plus uh, five, that's nine. So the answer we have is 9,400. Now I want you to do me uh, solve this problem for me. Help me go and compare the answer we've got for this solution against the example one for Northwest Corner Method and against example one for um, the least cost method. Of these three, which one are we going to incur the least? Cost. That's the assignment you have. I have for you. And place your comment section. Place your comment or your answer in the comment section at the end of this video. I want to thank you very much for being patient with me, watching this video and going through it. I would really encourage you to go over this video again until you gain a mastery of it. Look out for another video and an example on the vulgar approximation method. Thank you very much.